the things that we discussed when we were talking about Lagrange's theorem is that there's no guarantee that a subgroup has, uh, that a group has a subgroup of a particular order. So for example, we know that the group A4 is order 12. We know that every subgroup of A4 has to have an order that divides 12. However, A4 has no subgroup of order 6. Just because the order divides the order of the group, there's no guarantee it has a subgroup of that order. However, for the types of subgroups we've been dealing with in this module, this is true. Suppose that G is a finite abelian group of order M. If N divides M, then G has at least one subgroup of order N. It didn't happen up here because this isn't an abelian group. But if we do have an abelian group, we have to have a subgroup of that order. Now, let's take a look at an example here. Let's say we have a group G has order 24. Now, we know then that the possibilities for what the G is isomorphic to, G could be isomorphic to Z24, or G could be isomorphic to Z2, direct product Z4, direct product Z3, or G could be isomorphic to Z2, direct product Z2, direct product Z2, direct product Z3. It's also worth noting that this is Z8, direct product Z3. Okay, so Let's say, for example, we're talking about a group of order, um, say, 8. So we know 8 divides into 24. So we're saying that G has to have a subgroup of order 8. Now, if it's in this category right here, it's pretty easy to see. If I just look at everything where the first component can be anything from Z8, the second component is zero, that's a subgroup of order eight. And in fact, I can do the similar kind of thing here. If I look at this part of it, then I know I've got a subgroup of order eight, just keeping this part zero. Here, if I look at the set of all things where the first components can be either zero or one, the last component is zero, that's gonna be a subgroup of order eight. Let's try something a little bit different. What if I want a subgroup of order 12? It's not as easy to see in Z8 direct product Z3 that we've got a subgroup of order 12. 
but it's there. If we look at Z8, that has a subgroup 0, 2, 4, 6. If I direct product that with Z3, 4 times 3 would be 12 elements. If I look at Z2, direct product Z4, direct product Z3, I can just go ahead and take effectively this part of it, let the first component be 0, and we've got it. Here, same kind of thing. If I just let my first component be 0 and look at all possibilities for that, that's a subgroup of order 12. Now sometimes, like this one here, you might have to look at a subgroup of one of these individual components. But always, based on the way this works, you're always going to be able to find some subgroup of the proper order.